to pay tax or not the big shakespearean dilemma truth be told if you are not filing your tax in a compliant way then anyways the government is going to come for you on top of all this now comes this entire debate on inheritance tax congress's man with the typical foot in the mouth syndrome sam petroda leading the charge this time for essentially putting up the congress on the back foot if let's say one has 100 million dollar worth of wealth and when he dies he can only transfer probably 45% to his children 55% is grabbed by government that's an interesting law it says you in your generation made wealth you are leaving now you must leave your wealth for public not all of it half of it and since then the flurry of justification jana pramesh chief of congress publicity wing taking to twitter and almost just stopping short of expressing his clear cut disgust with the statement that was made by mr petroda but the purpose today is not to look at why sam petroda said what he said the purpose today is to explain to you in very simple terms as to what this entire case of inheritance tax is all about let's say if your parents let's say have built assets worth more than 20 crores should you be willing to pay tax on an asset which has been bequeathed to you should you pay tax on 50% of the value of the asset you're left with but the fundamental question is just this should you be paying tax on an asset which has been built by your previous generation let's look at some international experiences now in countries like the united states of america the united kingdom france germany japan however the specifics of how it is to be levied and its historical context varies from one country to the other in the us for instance the concept of inheritance tax is very very closely linked to the state tax framework unlike the federal estate tax which is imposed on the estate itself the inheritance tax is paid by the beneficiary upon receiving money or property from the deceased's estate as of 2021 only 6 states in the us impose an inheritance tax these are iowa kentucky maryland nebraska new jersey and pennsylvania the tax rates and exemptions vary by state with some states offering exclusions for certain classes of heirs or applying lower tax rates to transfers which have been made by close family members inheritance tax rates in the us can range from less than 1% to about 20% of the inherited property or the cash value however the tax is typically calculated on the portion of the property or the money which exceeds a specific threshold in 2021 elon musk himself had spoken out openly in favor of an inheritance tax but warren buffett takes a completely different approach to wealth management on this front buffett believes philanthropy in your existing lifespan is what you should be focusing on rather than getting stuck with what should happen to your wealth and whether your children post your death should be paying tax or not there is a report by the way which has been released by the UBS Global Wealth Management System in 2023 out of a total of 137 individuals 53 inherited a collective sum of 150.8 billion dollars from their families now this inheritance is more than the actual wealth creation of 140.7 billion dollars which was done by 84 individuals who actually created business and assets on their own now contrary to the united states india currently does not impose a tax on inheritance and that's why this entire debate the concept of inheritance tax though is not new to india approximately 4 decades ago a similar taxation system did exist in the country but it was abolished by the then prime minister rajiv gandhi way back in 1985 former finance minister p chidambaram on multiple occasions spanning from 2011 to 2013 voiced his proposal of implementing an inheritance tax as a means to bolster government revenue similarly during the initial tenure of this nda government way back in 2014 the then minister of state for finance jayan sinha on several occasions championed this concept of levying an inheritance tax 
which is why we need estate taxes so that we take away at least 50 or 55 percent of the advantage that dynastic business people already have right now. So it's about leveling the playing field and creating opportunity. By the way, taxes in the US and elsewhere, you said I've spent a lot of time in America and I have. I can tell you, estate taxes are 55% there. In 2018, the then finance minister, Arun Jaitley, also advocated the idea of inheritance tax, highlighting that hospitals and universities and developed nations garnered substantial endowments, partly owing to the presence of this inheritance tax. Known as estate duty, this tax was introduced in India in 1953. It applied to the transfer of assets from a deceased individual to their heirs with the tax amount calculated based on the total value of the deceased's estate. Inheritors were then obligated to pay a percentage of this value to the government as tax. But now in India, this entire debate has assumed a massive political overtone. We're obviously in the middle of a fiercely contested Lok Sabha election. The Prime Minister is accusing the Congress party of plotting to take Mangal Sutras away from Indian women. Now, whether you believe it or you don't, the reality is that inheritance tax now is not being spoken about simply as inheritance tax. It's now being converted into an attempt being made allegedly by a political party to take your assets away. If you want clarity on that, you should be looking at our videos on the squirrels.in which talk about which party's manifesto is speaking about what.